Ronnie's still recovering from the massive energy surge to his system, but he's stable. Oh, thank God. There's still an occasional irregularity in his amygdala function that I haven't quite figured out, but it should improve when he gets his strength back. He's been through a lot. I, I guess it would be weird if he didn't have some kind of reaction. Well, we're all just glad that he's back, Caitlin. Joe's right. We're all so happy for you, honey. Thank you. <laughs> I've got more good news, y'all. So I've had satellites running barometric scans all night. There's been zero sign of our angry inferno anywhere. Not one flicker. <laughs> Katie was right. Now that Ronnie's human again, no more grief eating monster. Caitlin, I'm sorry if I ever doubted you. I was wrong the whole time. It's okay. You were just trying to do what you thought was right. We all lose faith sometimes. But the point is, we brought one of our family members back here. Yeah, that sounds great to me, and I can't wait to get to know him. I actually think the two of you are really gonna get along. And you too, Chester. Uh, what makes you say that? I mean, I probably shouldn't be saying this because it was a long time ago, but he mentioned that maybe once he, you know. No, seriously? What? <sighs> what? Ronnie played D and D in college. <laughs> once or twice. Oh snap! We're gonna help him get his game on, girl. <laughs> once he's he's better and all that, of course. What ever happened to chess or checkers? Dominoes. And that's a good game right there. Okay, Grandpa. <sighs> uh, Caitlin. For what it's worth, I'm so sorry. I don't know my powers. They've just they've never been so off before. I just wish I knew why I got it so wrong. That's okay. All that matters is that Ronnie's home. Yeah.